Have you ever been to an industry event, a conference, and secretly thought to yourself, boy, I wish that was me up there. If you have an urge to communicate a message, to educate, to inspire, teach something, did you know that a podcast could be the tool to help you become a speaker? In this episode, I want to share five tips in which you can pitch yourself to become a speaker using your podcast. And I also want to share with you my experience for my first time speaking at the Empowered Podcasting Conference. This was my first time speaking as a podcaster. So I'm Jesenia Bocanegra, your video podcast and content creation coach, and this is Focus and Bloom Podcast, a space where we share content to help you up level and amplify your brand's message through video and podcasting. Now let's get to today's episode. So I just came back from the Empowered Podcasting's first edition of the conference. And before we go into today's episode, I really wanna just say a quick thank you to all of the organizers, to Mark Ronick, who is one of the co-founders of the conference, alongside many more creators and entrepreneurs who worked so hard to make that conference happen. It was really so much fun and such, an, such a welcoming event. And also for the opportunity to letting me be one of your speakers. We started the day on Saturday with an intention setting session, which I really enjoyed with Johnny John Gregorio. And during his presentation, he guided us in a visualization that would help us answer one big main question. And that was, what was your one thing that needs to happen today in this conference to help you move forward with your podcast? My immediate thought was connections, like meaningful connections. And obviously, because I was speaking, I really wanted to make sure that my presentation went really well. So that was those were my two goals. As part of that visualization process, another of the questions that came up was what might be the obstacles that might prevent it from happening? And what do you need to do to avoid that? In my case, it was stepping outside my comfort zone and also getting too inside my head because it had been my first conference, the one that I had attended to uh, since before the pandemic. And it's also the first one in which I am a speaker as a podcast strategist. So this was a new industry that I'm in now. It's also the first time that I was speaking in English in a conference because I had the opportunity to do that in Spanish many years ago. And also in past years, I've been able to attend several photography conferences and I really enjoyed the opportunity. Like I went there for work. I was working with another photographer. We got to do so many interviews during that time for her YouTube channel, maybe like 15 in two days. It was intense, but so, so much fun. But you know, again, this was my first time as a speaker and speaking in English. So I was a little nervous, but excited at the same time. Well, I'm happy to say that everything was a success. The presentation went well, and I met so many creators and several of them local to the Raleigh-Durham area in North Carolina, which is where I'm currently based at. And that just really got me more excited for future collaborations and just to, you know, participate in more local events related to the podcasting and creator industry. So for my presentation, I talked about YouTube strategies for podcasters, and it wasn't intended to just serve video content creators. It was really designed for both audio content creators, audio podcasters, and those who have already embraced video. So if you wanna check it out, go ahead and click the link in the description where you can download that presentation. Overall, it was a really great opportunity to connect with other creators and just great to see their presentations and even the process of working towards getting ready for my own presentation. And actually in doing so, I actually had the help of my friend and fellow podcaster, Anna Xavier from the podcast space, who you probably have seen already in previous episode here. We'll all be linking it in the description. And throughout this process, we both presented our presentation to each other. And then what we did is we gave each other feedback to help us better prepare for our turn for our talk. And it was really fun doing so because it kind of reminded me of like college when you had this, you were able to work in groups and just give each other feedback. It was really fun. I really enjoyed it. And that experience right there was one of my biggest takeaways of, of not just the experience Experience of collaborating with my friend and fellow podcaster to get ready for my presentation. But like the overall experience of the podcast conference was that it's getting that sense of creative camaraderie where there isn't any gatekeeping, where there's a true sense of wanting to see each other be successful because we know that there is space for everybody. There is space for you. So I just want to let that sink in. So I'm going to repeat it. There is space for everybody and there is space for you. That being said, how can your podcast help you land speaking engagements? Well, 
I have five tips. The first one is that you have to be clear on your audience and leverage your podcast content. So to do this, what you can do is create and share episodes that showcase your expertise to which should include episodes that are evergreen content. So look through the content that you share, the different pillars that you talk about throughout your different content and your online marketing strategy, and then pick those that are evergreen and go ahead and, you know, prepare an episode where you can truly shine. And then that way it shows your expertise in that particular area. The second tip is to network and collaborate. You can do this by appearing on other people's podcasts to expand your reach, which is also another form of cross marketing. And in doing so, this also will let you practice your speaking skills and also attend industry events and connect with potential organizers. In other words, let's get visible. The third tip is to research opportunities. So you want to research speaking opportunities such as conferences, seminars, workshops, or even online events and tailor your pitch to that particular event. To work on this, I would recommend creating a separate document, a spreadsheet or a Google document where you can include links to those events and jot that down, important deadlines, so you know when you can apply. Tip number four is to tailor your proposals. As you're building this experience, whether it's guesting or actually appearing as a speaker at a conference, you want to start building your media kit as a speaker. So in that you will include your speaker bio, a potential talk title, description, as well as key takeaways for that talk. These are a couple of the things that will show up in your speaker application. And tip number five, and I think this is the most important one, is to actually pitch yourself to become a speaker. Submit the application, send that email, contact that person, take action. As I was preparing my presentation, I wrote an affirmation and a big post-it and I want to share it with you uh, because it really helped me get into that mindset. And that is, I am confident, capable, and worthy. And I'm Puerto Rican, so I needed to add a little bit of sofrito around there. So I ended up with, dale que tu puedes, which in other words means, you got this. If you're ready to start a podcast, or maybe you feel that your podcast needs a refresh, then check out the episodes that I'll be linking in today's show notes from the mini series podcast essentials so that you can get started. And if you're ready to take it up a notch a little bit more and maybe need some guidance on your podcast or content strategy, then go ahead and check out the description as well, where you can learn more about my coaching services. And don't forget, dale que tu puedes.